Alright, you raging li liberals, you probably thought I was going to give up on episode 1, but look, we're back at it again. Okay, so in the last episode, we took Sinope and Trapezos. Now, I want to go towards Colchis. But I'm thinking, is that even the right decision? Um, the reason I say that is because I have expanded up into this region, and it's not the towns that are bad. Like, the towns are rich. Um, Fain uh, that's not, the Chersonesis and, uh, Panzacapion are rich cities, but the Sarmatians have formidable cavalry armies, and they, they are actually really hard to beat in this, uh, mod. So I think the plan will be to take Colchis, now, I need to see, is this crossable here? Ordez. It is. Okay, so... I can't build any forts because I'm so in debt, the game won't actually let me. Because if I take Colchis, look at this mountain range. There's one, two, three, four entrances. Taking Colchis means they can only get to me from here and here. That's not even that bad, so I was thinking I could fort up, but I can't build any forts. The other thing is killing Arminia. This army out here sucks. It's this army that is actually going to be a problem. Georgian media infantry, two general bodyguards, one might die when we get there. These hillmen aren't actually that bad. Um, so, those, that'll be a problem. And another problem is, I don't even know how long I can keep this place happy. It's already yellow and has a massive army in it, so I'm s kind of thinking of heading towards this way. The only thing is, Galatia isn't a rich city. Nicomedia is okay. Pergamon. Now, Pergamon is where we're talking. That's a rich city. However, the problem is, is like, let's just look at this map. If I take those three towns that I just mentioned, my border with the Seleucids stretches from Amasaya to Pergamon. That's too big. I, I can't hold that. This is big enough as it is. <laughs> So, going into the mountains, taking out Arminia is still, I think, going to be my plan. Now, I don't know. There's definitely got to be a city over here. In, uh... So, Arminia has one city. Which is just... Yerevan, right? No, Armover. Yeah, it is Yerevan. Uh, modern Arminia's capital is Yerevan. So, uh... Yeah, there is another city here. There's two over here. So those would be, this area right here would be nice to take. So let's end the turn. We'll keep going towards, oh, I forgot to move in. We'll keep going towards Colchis. See how that is. And maybe we could get an alliance with the uh, Sarmatians later on. Because that'd be much easier than uh, having to fight them. Still losing Sire? money, sadly. Um, At once. There it is. Happy Jaminos. Sire, I will speak with them at once. Hopefully we can start building the map up here. Darn it. Alright, go this way. We'll talk to Rome. Uh, and the Barbarian tribes. Ptolemy and Macedonians are no longer at war. How much money are we legitimately losing? 3,000. God almighty. Maybe, see the thing is, like, if I take this town, the, the problem with my position right now is the towns I am taking are ungarrisonable. I simply can't garrison them. Like, I, it's too much money. Like, three troops there, a lot of troops here. These are troops I need on the field. But I don't want to lose them just yet. I know the Seleucids are formidable and they could easily take that town if they wanted to but I want to at least put up a struggle now this is a bunch of baloney how many units can I set out oh it's happy what the hell all right we can, uh, never mind <laughs> one unit uh, that's not enough um, the hell else am I gonna give it another one how many units are in here yeah I highly doubt that there's got to be like another army out there what, what does it matter, really? One Peltus or two Peltus? They're not going to hold, so let's just keep going. Um, Armenia's besieging that good. If they can waste some troops on that siege, that'd be awesome. So let's see what's over here in terms of armies and stuff. What is in this army? 
That's not bad, but it's not that good. Where's the town that's over here? Is Albania not to start off with the town? It's gotta be up there somewhere, which I don't know how accurate that is, but... Uh, did we move the diplomat? Yeah. Yeah, that's about it. Sorry for the short turns, but I mean, there's literally nothing going on. I was hoping we'd start making some money by, by now, that's kind of why I'm enslaving all the cities I take. Because I, I, I don't want slaves, but <laughs> I do need them. We're not really that much in debt, I know I've been kind of saying we are, but we're not that bad. Okay, um, so that town doesn't matter, I guess, I'm not gonna go looking for it. The town over here is in media. The question is, yeah, there it is right there, who's going, oh, it's for Aspa, so that's a frig, wow. That's actually not a bad army at all. Part of the Spearmen and Persian Hobbitons are pretty good units. Trapezos is still happy. Now, uh, let's drop a save. Okay. Um, I'm expecting to be ambushed up there. So we move the diplomat, we move the spy. Um, Seleucids, are they being... Okay. It's just a captain, he's got two units. Oh gosh, but that... That's a, uh, pretty big army there, guys. You wanna take out those rebels for me? I don't even think you get into you can get into a Armenia Minor that way, can you? They didn't attack. Oh well, my faction leader died. Our ruler has died, and the people are as one in offering up prayers for his worthy soul. Well, he ate too many chestnuts. All right, anything here to do with? Pontus. Rebellious Roman commander at Regiment of Um. I think that's it. Nothing to do with Pontus, so if you guys want to read that, you can pause. Alright, so this is my new fact. Oh, there are some nice mercenaries here. Alright, we are in range, that's good. Um, still, I'm expecting to be attacked next turn. We have a nice little old army here. I'm expecting some Georgian median swords. Okay, that's unsurprising, but that's not good news either. Because Armenia and I, you know, it, it, it'd make more sense for me to ally with them and fight by their side. But you can't trust the AI, I mean, come on. When has an AI reliably fought by your side? <laughs> that, yeah, that's gonna be tough to take out, unless I can siege him in there for seven turns. Uh, we move the diplomat, right? Probably not. Nope. Um, is Rome in this area? Is this the Adawai? Not the Adawai, the other- nope. Uh, Rome, where you at? I think it'd be awesome to, uh... Ah, oh, hell yeah. Can you give me map information? Hey, you know what? What if I offer them map information? Give me two hundred dollars. To not read. <laughs> oh, come on. They're probably broke. Or they just don't want my map information because it's so sophisticated they can't even deal with it. They were so blown away when I offered them that they just, they fell apart. Broke into tears at the moment. And there is no army, so I kind of wonder if Armenia killed it for me. Alright, where are you at? There's Aritium. You know what's funny? Uh, Rome and Pontus did actually meet before the Mithridatic Wars. Oh, come on. Um, they had some good and bad once, times. <laughs> Even before the Mithridatic Wars, they were having problems sire. with each other. At once. Yes. My uh, Ptolemy Pontus. Actually, hey, we lost less money that turn, so I wonder if the bodyguard dying probably gave us some money. Alright, let's take this. Actually, wait, before we do that. This Armenian army, I don't like it. It's, it's freaking huge. <laughs> okay, it grew. They recruited troops. That is a bunch of baloney. Go up here, I want you to scout out the uh, Sarmatians. Okay, now let's take them on. We could easily take this. 
Attack! We could auto this, but I I can't afford to take the casualties, and I can't trust auto resolve in Rome Total War, especially on a mod like this. The uh, of the dead no. Will see many new souls before the no. Sunsets. Just yes. make sure that you are not. Okay, uh, Slingers, drop that. No, this music. Who's blasting the didgeridoos? We're only gonna use two rams. Uh, I don't think I'll need three, and I'm kinda lazy right now, so... Let's get him. You gotta move up, though. Oh, those were fire arrows. Calm down. We could have done this peacefully. How the heck are you not in range? Okay, um, just hold, shoot wherever you actually. You know what? Come here. Move up to about here. Bro, I can't freaking hear. These didgeridoos. Pretty difficult to deal with. I know it sounds dumb, but. In cities, fighting head on against cavalry is not the easiest thing to do. But in any case, those Georgian medium infantry units are going to be powerful. So if you want to. You in range? No, you're not. Move up. To there. Alright, walls fell down. Come on. Just scare him away. You don't have to fight him. Good job. Come on, shoot the Georgians. They're way more formidable than the stupid archers. Oh, watch. They're gonna get away. Look at this. No, maybe not. Alright, you're all executed. Um, just get in there. Get my general up here first. Come on, now's your chance to prove yourselves. Don't freaking tell me they're out of range. They're right there. There you go. That was a good volley. Slingers, um, you're not in range of them? Where are you? Alright, alright, these archers broke. Uh, stop firing. General. Pikemen. Form up. Uh, no, 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 no. You're out of ammo. For the most part. Okay, not bad at all. General, get in there. So we've got. Oh, you son of a gun. That archer. Guys. Guys, what is this? Alright, good enough. Uh, you guys want to get into phalanx? You charging? Yep, get in there. Okay, slingers, come on. Alright, I want one of you to actually go over here. Poke him in the butt. There we go. Good, that's an entire unit dead. Alright, so they have one native spear, some cav, and some eastern skirmishers. Alright, general, you're gonna go this way with the unit of phalanx. Uh, you dead yet? Good enough. Get over here, uh, you guys will just advance to there. This unit will follow you. My main plan, I guess, I mean, I never have a plan, but uh, the main plan that I don't have is going to try and get one unit to come this way. This is perfect, actually. This is exactly what I wanted. See, everything works out when you're me. 
I'll be eating those words in a minute here. Alright, so they don't get their butt kicked. You guys need to kind of run. What the heck's shooting at him? Don't actually run, but just walk into position. Then we'll have... Actually, I got a better idea. Stop, stop, stop. Form Phalanx. Where's my general? Okay, he's safe. Kind of. Just push him back for a little bit. Um, you'll be fine to grind up against him. You're gonna back out now, though. So yeah, you guys... Okay, this is not at all what I freaking wanted. We can speed this up. This is ridiculous. Did you get out? No, you really didn't. What's happening? Okay, that's... Okay, pause. Okay, just hold them. You need to come up here. You guys are kind of on your own right now. Drop the sticks. Swords out. Just old guys. There we go. Not bad. So far. This other unit is kind of screwing them up though. You got an idea. I don't know if it'll actually work or not, but... Try and outflank this unit. The other general should be coming. Yep, here he comes. And no Eastern skirmishers with this pet strong. <laughs> Alright, are you count hurry? Not so bad. There they go. Nope, they're not broken yet. You guys get your freaking mics down. <clears throat> The general's right there. He should die in a minute. You guys can try and do the same. Uh, I don't know how well it's gonna work. Jeez, I'm pro. This is ridiculous. They're so freaking shooting. <laughs> They're actually pushing back into them. Okay, there he goes. This way, please. I didn't tell you to stop. Good. Not too bad at all. Pretty happy with that. But the thing is, I need to start making money. I, I Winning these battles isn't doing anything, it's just... I mean, getting the town is very important, but now I have the garrison in the town, which is kind of annoying, but... This might route him actually, just win here. We push him off the town square. That better have been the enemy, I swear to god I'll cry. Okay, good. Just get out of the game. Nice, another victory. Almost. There we go. Not bad, 128. Uh, how many got healed? 14 Eastern Skirmishers. Okay. Well, you know what? That's 14 more guys. Victory! This land is ours! Okay, we got a thousand, almost, from looting that. This guy's a famous warrior? Good. So we got a turn, co turn coat. Look at my little kingdom on the map. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So, are we gaining money? No. But, 
Aha, it's gone down a lot more than it once was. So that's good. We may... I think MSI is on high taxes, right? Very high, I mean, yeah. Sinope could go up. I hate tax in my kingdom, but you know what? Sometimes you have to. You're gonna get on normal. You're gonna stay on normal. So this actually gives me a nice little situation to kind of just wait. I mean, waiting is kind of dumb because financially, it's only 900. I just really, I hate disbanding troops. How much do these guys? 224. This one cavalry unit is 686. Not saying I'm going to disband some units, but I might start disbanding some units. <laughs> I think I actually have our next place to go after, and that's not Arminia, but it's the town next to him. What if we just take it and loot the crap out of it and destroy all the buildings? I know it sounds dumb, but actually the question is, can we even get to it? Oh, we can. Alright, let's, let me think about that. Because if we do that, you know Arminia's going to come after me. So it's, I guess, kind of a risk. But if the Armenians get a little cocky here, I could take them out. Or... That's gay. It went up a thousand. Or... I could turn to Asia. But that's... It's risky. So there's, Phanagoria isn't on this map, so there's no town over here. See, I'd go for that, but, oh, there might be, the Tainus might be up there. Nope, never mind, it's the same down. So you know what? I guess we will go for this. It's just, how do I get over there? I gotta go up that way? What the heck? What's the quickest way over here? I can go this way. Then that gets me stuck all right go up I guess just go in that general area I just wanted to scout this area come on scout yeah look at that that's the stuff I'm talking about I don't want to fight that uh, let's get moving I guess um, I'll stay here all right not bad at all we'll get there next turn wait our diplomat Find the barbarians. Isn't there a faction here? Yeah, there is a faction here. Your obedient servant. To it's, hear uh, there is it is. To obey. To hear is to obey. I will speak with them at once. Aha! Uh -huh. Ooh, that was a lot of... Yeah, let's to go over hear here. Is to obey. Moves All right, that was it. Sir. I might take this guy. You know what? Actually, no, I won't. We have enough right now. Hey. Good thing I didn't take him, because we just got another one right there. Nice. He's got a clerk. Oh, come on. We can't make it. I swear. What's up here? Where'd Butthole go? Oh, there he is. Moving Dude, out of moves, it's not even funny. Freaking it, <sighs> nobles already. It's not getting better in terms of financially. Should be able to take this. Hopefully, our minion doesn't get in my way, and I literally think that's my turn. Uh, they're not moving from Mazaka, but they did put more troops in there, which is just as disturbing. I forgot to move you. Alright, well we can talk to that faction. I don't actually know what that is. Next turn. Your obedient servant. I will speak with them at once. Maybe we can get some money from these guys. Cause what if we just give them our map information and ask for five hundred? Because honestly, I'd rather have that. Darn it. I highly doubt they're gonna accept this. Yep. At once. At once. Bruh. 
Alright, just don't move then. I'll have to move next turn. We'll go to Spain and talk to them and the Carthaginians. Okay, anything important to Pontus? Um, yes. This is the 29th year of the Pontic Dynasty, reckoned by from its founding by Mithridates Cacistes. Uh, Attalus the first, first of Pergamon is born in the Athenians honored Kellyas. Um, um, I think. Yeah. Oh, you son of a gun. My liege. He's not besieging it, is he? Oh, he is. Alright, if he wins, we attack him. If you lose, we attack him. My liege. We'll stand... Actually, you know what? I got a great freaking idea. Stand... Oh, okay. This isn't what I wanted, but I guess... Prepare Darn it! For battle. Lay siege to it. No, no, don't lay siege. Yeah, lay siege. Build some rams. Attack! If he attacks, Seven we're gonna. Siege, oh, we can't freaking deny help in this, can we? Sire. Oh no, I was gonna act like it's Rome too, where you can just exit and not help them. <laughs> oh, but you don't think you can do that? My ear is Tanus? Yeah, Tanus is here. Okay, moving, I found it. Moving, moving. Um. I guess what we'll do, My we're gonna freaking sabotage the AI, watch this. You are about to see a pro game move. My diplomat can't move, he's just gonna stay there. You know what? Shoot, I just thought of something. What if, what if, break the siege, wait, if I assault, hold on a second, if I assault, does that mean I get the city? Because I'm the one attacking, and our is the one joining. Okay, hold on, this might actually work out after all, because I was just going to march on the Armenian capital and take it out. Uh, come on, diplomat. I cannot do Get out of there. Alright, go this way, towards Massilia. Actually, that's yes, past Massilia. There we go. Okay, no so, no let's try this. Hopefully, I attack it and I get the city. Let's just see if it... Your forces, yeah. Reinforcements. I'm tempted to auto-resolve this, like, genuinely. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna auto it. If the casualties are too high, we're playing it. If I don't get the city, we're reloading it. The casualties weren't that bad. Who gets the city? Victory oh, I do. Ours, mighty one. Oh, ho, 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 ho. here we go. This is good. This is good. But, I'm reloading it. Here's why. We're gonna play this battle, but we're gonna let the Armenians do all of the work. You know, sometimes my genius, it's quite frightening. All right, same thing, drop save, good. Okay, so that means, please tell me I'm making some money. Oh, I'm so close. All right, so the next thing is, is basically next episode, I'm gonna go to war with Armenia, it has to be done. Now, God almighty, that's the second full stack I've seen. And those are a lot of nobles and archers, god. That's why I didn't go up there, because I wasn't kidding when I said those armies are very, very powerful. Did he block... Oh, come on. Seriously. One ship. I can't afford to make ships. Did you move? Alright, yes. so that's gonna be the last turn right there, guys. Um, A ton of progress, honestly. We've captured four towns, but the thing is, I've said this a million times, and I'm going to say it again. These are not garrisoned, and 
anyone could just come in and take them from me. I guess Emma Sai and Sinobi are garrisoned, but that's about it. Trapezos and Kotas are on their own. Trapezos is extremely difficult to get to, so I highly doubt the AI will actually be able to manage that. Kotas is kind of in the same situation. I can put its taxes up. The thing with Kotas is it has some nice mines. They are 14,000 and take 8 turns to build, but they are still mines. So financially, officially, we're at 180 per turn. That's not bad, but we even if we get to start increasing our income, it's not the greatest. So um, still allied with Seleucids and Armenia. That's not going to be for long. I would not be surprised if the Seleucids declared war on me after I took Marminia. Just how it is. I think that is it. Um, how do I do the, uh, I guess we can do this. Um, neighboring factions. So that's Seleucids, Sarmatia, Armenia. What colors are they? Armenia's uh, blue, right? Yes. So Armenia is not doing the greatest. This is overall ranking. Let me get to territorial ranking. Okay. So I've grown quite a substantial amount. Armenia hasn't. Sarmatia took a singular town. The Seleucids dropped significantly for a little bit. Then they're back up to their original situation. So that's for neighboring. That's for territory, I mean. Then we've got... I can't click. Financial. <laughs> well, none of us are doing good financially. Uh, population, Seleucid is obviously doing the best. Uh, militarily, obviously, Seleucids are actually starting to dip. Um, Sarmatians are rising for somehow I dropped I don't really know how production I haven't produced crap the Seleucid stopped producing everyone's like <laughs> god alright so I'd say we're doing pretty good so we got a nice little empire on the map there five towns right yeah five towns um almost all of it is actual Pontic homeland other than uh that town right there which is in Cart Cartley yeah. So, on the map, we need to take all of Caucasia, Media, Armenia, uh, Armenia Minor, so the Middle East. It's not going to be easy. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to go for the Middle East first. I might go for Asia Minor first. It's richer, in my opinion. Well, other than this area. This area is really rich. And Babylonia and stuff. Well, well, we'll just see, I guess. Uh, maybe I'll go up towards Sarmatia, because I need to take that anyway. Alright, guys. Um, that is all. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.